Hi, welcome to Simon Simple English. Today in this quick video, we're going to talk about IELTS speaking practice. So practicing for IELTS speaking, but don't leave it too late. Let me explain what I mean. Practicing for IELTS speaking for your test is a great idea. It's very helpful for your fluency, for your pronunciation, maybe to get more vocabulary. So it's a really, really great idea. But many students book lessons with me, but they book the lessons too near the test. So they haven't practiced at all. And then they've got three days till the test. They're asking me, you know, will I get a band five? Will I get a band six? Will I get a band seven and a half? They're asking me for all this feedback, which I'm happy to give them. But sometimes it comes as a little bit of a shock to them, what I tell them. I don't want you to be in this position because with three days till your test, you haven't really got time to improve your mistakes. Maybe you could learn a little bit more vocabulary, but you don't know what the subject's gonna be on the test day anyway. So many of these students don't realize their weaknesses in certain area. So my point is, give yourself time to prepare, to practice, and to realize what your weaknesses are and what needs improving. The most common errors that I see are as follows. So we've got grammatical errors. These are quite often systemic errors. Uh, systemic errors are errors that happen again and again and again, and particularly problems with verb tenses. Like, a lot of my students will mix up the past and the present tense. Next, we've got pronunciation mistakes. So saying words incorrectly. This is a big one. Um, I had a student recently, and we were talking about a movie, but he didn't say movie, he called it a move. So, careful with your pronunciation. Also fluency issues, lots of pauses or repetition. And lastly, we have vocabulary mistakes. These are things like using the wrong word or not using high level, less common vocabulary or descriptive language, that sort of thing. So make sure that you think about when you should start practicing for the IELTS speaking test. Make sure you think about how you're gonna start practicing for the IELTS speaking. And consider, do you need a few lessons with a professional teacher to point you in the right direction? So don't leave it till the last minute. Find out what you need to do and then work on your weaknesses. Relax and enjoy the test. The test should be fairly enjoyable. If you've done your homework and you're prepared, you're well prepared, then it should, shouldn't be too much of a difficult experience for you. I have a special link to italki uh, because I'm an italki teacher and the link's in the description below. And with that link, when you register and you make your first purchase, you're gonna get $10 absolutely free. So good luck with your IELTS speaking test. And thanks very much for watching. The next video, they will be giving you three ideas of how you can practice for the IELTS speaking test. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.